What's happening, everybody? This past week has been insane, and it has been actually a week and a half since I've actually been able to get into the gym. That is the longest I have ever taken off since I started working out and losing weight in the first place. I mean, for over three years now, I haven't taken off an entire week and a half from doing nothing. So it has sucked this past week with, with everything that's happened to the house. And then I got really sick. I got an ear infection. I had a cold. So that sucked. But for anyone that's interested from my last video about what happened to the house, I just stopped by it to pick up a few things. And it's doing good. We've started repairs. Everything's gonna be okay with the house, so I'm happy about that. In this video, I wanna talk about, you know, getting back into the gym after taking time off and, and just the steps and the things that you're gonna wanna do because a lot of people send me questions like, you know, hey, I'm super sore, should I still go work out? And another thing I wanna talk about is when you should work out if you are getting sick or if you think you're sick, should you go work out, should you not work out? So I wanna talk about all that in this video, but I'm gonna go ahead and get inside the gym. I'm not gonna bring the camera in because I really wanna focus on this workout. I wanna have a good workout. So I'm gonna check in with you guys after I'm done. That was an excellent workout. Things were a little bit heavier uh, than usual just because I had taken so much time off, but let's talk about when you should take time off from the gym, when it's a good idea to not go, and when is a time that you should probably toughen up a little bit and still get into the gym. So there's a pretty good general rule of thumb, and that says that if you are running a fever or you are taking medicine to reduce the symptoms that you're having, you should probably not go. And that's not just because, oh, you think that you feel good enough to where you could still go even though you're running a fever. That's actually probably better for the protection of the other people in the gym. You're going to be all up in there sweating, coughing, sneezing, getting your nasty germs all over the other equipment and running risk of getting other people in the gym sick. And you don't want to do that. So if you're running a fever or you're taking Tylenol, cold and flu, probably not a good idea for you to be inside of the gym. Now, if you simply have a sore throat, a cough, your left pinky toe hurts, you could probably toughen up a bit and still get inside and put in work. Because if we always took off when we had a little bit of a cough or a little bit of a sore throat, you're probably gonna be taking off way too much time than what you really need to. Another question that I get all the time is, what if you're really sore? What if your muscles are killing you that you could barely sit up and, and get down on a chair and go to the bathroom without being in pain? Now, it's actually probably a good idea for you to go to the gym when you are feeling sore. Let's say you had a really hard leg day. If you go to the gym, walk on the treadmill 10, 15 minutes and go do very light few leg workouts, not to work out your legs, but just to get them moving, get the blood pumping, get the muscles moving, you will find that you're probably gonna feel a lot better than if you were to just skip the gym because you were too sore. Another thing that I wanted to bring up is talking about ibuprofen, Advil, stuff like that. Should you take that if you're feeling sore? The answer is no, not if you're just feeling sore from going to the gym. I was surprised that people were taking Advil because they felt sore. Now what ibuprofen can do is it will reduce, not substantially, and it's not gonna be anything crazy, but it will hinder your muscle growth a bit. When you are trying to build muscle, your muscles are actually tearing, breaking down, and rebuilding themselves. And when you take ibuprofen, that's kind of slowing down that process and you don't want to do that. You want to be building that muscle. But definitely if you have a migraine or something is injured, you should know the difference between muscle soreness and a muscle injury. And if you need to reduce the stress on your body, go ahead and take some Advil and then get back into the gym as soon as you can. When you're finally ready to get back into the gym, a good rule of thumb is to not go absolutely crazy and lift like you've never lifted before because your body probably isn't ready to go from absolutely nothing to going crazy. And a lot of people make that mistake when they first start trying to lose weight. And then they say that they're so sore that that scares them away from continuing because they got so sore, they don't want to do that again. So when you're first getting back into the gym or when you're first starting to go to the gym, 
go a little bit light, take it easy, or you could be like me and love that soreness and just, you know, hit it hard and, and feel that burn. I personally like to feel sore, but let's actually take a second and put a spin onto all of this. And that spin that I wanna put on this is, let's say that you actually took time off from the gym because you were just not feeling motivated. Let's say you were trying to lose weight and you messed up one weekend and now you've taken off a week, two weeks from the gym simply because you just weren't feeling like going back to the gym. You weren't feeling that, that you could do it. You were too just unmotivated to get in there. And, and this is what I want you to think of a few things. Number one is that when you have that idea, when you have the thought that you want to lose weight, when you have that, that dream, that hope that you want to change your life, that is not gonna go away. That thought, that idea is never going to go away. So from the time you have that idea to the time of you completing your goal, that time is going to pass in between no matter what you do. So you need to decide how you're going to spend that time. Are you gonna spend it wanting, hoping, wishing that you will lose weight? Or are you gonna spend it putting in the time putting in the effort and doing the work to achieve those goals. Don't go search Google for a shortcut. Don't go find some supplement that you're, you're hoping is gonna make you lose weight. There is nothing and there is no shortcut that is gonna cause you to magically achieve your goals. It's going to be the work and the time you put in. So put in that time and don't find an excuse every couple weeks to take time off. If you are actually sick, you're running that fever, go ahead and take a few days and you'll know you could get back in as soon as you don't have a fever or you're not taking medicine to reduce the symptoms. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you got something from it. I hope to be back into my house relatively soon, within the next couple weeks. Repairs are still doing done, still getting done, still doing done. What? Bleh, bleh. If you're still watching, please do me a favor, go on down and drop a thumbs up on the video. It really helps me out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. The best birthday ever. You have such a big swimming pool. The entire Louisiana. Congratulations. Happy birthday. We're going to practice our Olympics inside of our